Hello everyone, this is ALH and this is my completely free to play Emperor account review. As you can see, we did get the frame. I don't know, it kind of looks okay. I think I'm just going to stick to either the top 30 arena frame or the second Emperor frame. I'll just stick to this one though. I'm not really sure how I feel about the hand guy skin. It looks a lot like Sato Kaiba. I'm also like just, I guess, more used to the normal hand guy skin. My voice isn't the greatest right now because I'm still recovering from getting my wisdom teeth taken out on Tuesday. Though I was able to kind of recover from the sedation pretty quickly and pretty much an hour after I returned home from the surgery, I was already slamming RT8 games. But yes, I apologize if, if my, my voice isn't like clear and like is a bit raspy for now. So I started actually like playing, I think, about a week and a half, maybe a bit more before the season ended because I was still trying to finish up school. My university ended about, I think, the 8th of May. I didn't really start until I think the 11th or the 13th, which gave me yeah, about two weeks to climb. Overall, the season was pretty interesting. It was a lot more aggro heavy season. I kind of started off playing standard in the beginning, but the last two days, I pretty much completely switched to this this cleave comp and that worked a lot. It was pretty RNG to be honest, because the comp, you would first pick Aiden, then you'd go Zeo, and after that it would be like, you'd use Ran, and depending on what they pick, you could just go Poly and then finish up with a Ciceria, which actually worked a lot to be honest. Able to climb super fast and the games were much quicker compared to playing standard. Here's my journal. I'm 91% in heroes and 95% in artifacts. I didn't really have a lot of the units that were used a lot. I didn't have like LHC, A Taiwan, LRK, Flitica. I missed out on a lot because Flitica would be pretty nice. She was like one of the main reasons why I didn't really use aggro. LRK, after his buff, he was just so strong and could just run over a lot of stuff. A Taiwan, if I had him, I wouldn't really have to worry about ball as much, I think, because he just like would just cleanse the sleeps. I didn't summon an A Laika, cause I, I thought she was pretty bad, but after her buff, she like became way better, and you know, it's kind of a shame. I did go for Emil Caron, which kind of is a mistake, cause he didn't get a buff, which is like kind of weird that A Laika got a buff, and then Emil Caron didn't, cause he kind of sucks, but whatever. I wish I had Sage Vivian, cause she's one of the best counters to, to Stene, just cause of her sobering AOE attacks and also just crit damage buff and like overall utility. Pirate Flan, as a standard player, I hate this unit so much because she just absolutely that controls her team and that's not really a lot you could do. DDR, so toxic. Every single time I saw him, I internally like groan because she's so annoying to play against, especially with when they pick Solly. But yeah, I think that's it for the journal. I do wish I had LRK or a time so I could play a bit more standard and be a bit more safer, but yeah. And now onto the stats of my units. I'm just gonna go through each of the units. This is my Kisei. She used to be on better gear. She was on a speed pen set before, but I had to swap that gear after a hawk because he's also like another cleave unit or like another opener I used. I, I used her a couple games. I tried to force her. She did work a couple times, but Right now, her damage is just a bit too low, preferably like 4k attack, 300 crit damage at 270 speed, but I just don't think you're right now for that. I just only have like a plus 24 wind rider, plus 30 means more attack and also more damage. The next unit is Savior Aiden, the 3 star. She is RNG galore. We just live and die by that, that 30%. We're using MLDB because you do want her to have the attack buff when she counters. And I like this 250 speed with this okay amount of crit damage because this at least allows her to cut some stuff when she dodges. Preferably, you know, I would of course want more damage because there have been times where she just didn't nuke something. But she's also just such such an evasion unit that you wouldn't lose by that 30% chance. And sometimes it favors you and sometimes it doesn't. Because I was cleaving. Normally you would just first pick her 
to not have to like have let them have Aiden and she does at least help with her invincibility utility and also just being able to nuke something and all right so the next unit is Landy I used to have a, a speed crit build with a bit more bulk and not as much damage I do like this build a bit more preferably I would like a bit more speed but I think the damage is there I sadly don't have any plus 30 guiding lights because I'm free to play and just haven't really been able to get the bottles or summon on the cerise banner like the triple banner as much as i wanted i used her in the guiding light comps with like wonder silk the where you have like you have aiden and Perg as the two units that they would have to hit which all like kind of mess them up and pairs really well with wonder silk because if there's a z on the other team you can dual attack with wonder silk to proc her her s1 to get even more stacks of fighting spirit and potentially already just be able to S3. And her S3 does so much damage that it often just like wipes the entire team if it's if it lets through. Next unit is Straze. I used to have him on speed immunity and a lot slower with I think a bit more attack, but I think this build is better because you can use him with Zahawk a bit more because my Zahawk is so much faster now that Straze also need to be faster. Portrait allows him to also just do more damage. And I put a Comet on my Delibet. I do like the, the 250 speed though. Of course, preferably even like above 4k attack and maybe like 300 crit damage. But this is what I have for now. Briar. I mean, Briar is so good. I used her like so many times. Like if I didn't know what unit to pick, I kind of just like just slammed her and just prayed. Plus 15 Guiding Light, unfortunately, so we're missing out on a bit more attack. I think if we were plus 30, it was easily over 4200. I do like this damage because with attack buff and there's no mitigation, she just nukes most Stenes. Unfortunately, I do have like a purple boot for her without any crit chance. And she's also actually on a crit chance neck, which is, that's pretty interesting. But that's what we have. Speed immunity is pretty important because you at least want her to be able to take a turn and not get debuffed so she can still strip and then also guiding light of course so she just you know just as a hit preferably i would like her to run 230 with like the same damage but we'll get there eventually and then plus 15 guiding light is so annoying there was at least two to three games where i was going anti-cleave and drafted k-run and Brasiria, and Every single time when it was Kron Brasiria left, she never procked Guiding Light, so they just killed the the Brasiria instead of going after the the Kron and allowing Brasiria to take another turn, which is unfortunate, but not much you can do about it. Ida is useful for the rank cleave that I was using toward the end of the season. I just didn't draft her as much as my friend did, who showed it to me and introduced it to me, and actually like shout out to him because. He helped me so much during those last two days because I don't normally cleave. I, I'm a, I feel like I'm a slow player. And so having him be able to give me tips on which units to draft in certain situations really helped a lot. With Ida though, I prefer the like Jack. It's just more stats all around. I, I don't know. I She used to be 230 speed and more damage, I think. But I nerfed her to gear other units. And now I'm thinking I might want to go back to 240 speed with at least 400 more attack. But... For me, she's not really a priority in the unit, so I think she's just going to be left like this until I get better gear for my other DPS, like, like Straza or Brasiria. Next unit is Syria. I haven't really changed her build in, I think, at least a year. Preferably, I would like more attack, effectiveness, and speed. Also, a main part of the cleave I was using. I just wish I had more effectiveness because sometimes people just pick up like a super tanky Destina that I just couldn't debuff or couldn't kill and then I just die from that because she just revives the entire team and I just lose. So yeah, having at least having more effectiveness would be very nice. I get more speed so she can at least take more turns and more attack for more damage, I guess. Really just more stats all around. Maybe I'll get her to SSS eventually. I had Ciceria banner as one of my custom banners and I just threw every single copy of Ciceria into Briar to get her to triple S, which I don't regret at all. I think that was completely worth it because I just use Briar so much. Even in Arena and Gildor, I use I use Briceria in my cleave. But yeah, so I picked her a lot. Actually, I didn't pick her as much as my friend did because my friend absolutely loves Ciceria as a unit, but I, I, like, I stick to more like just Polly and pretty much more like as Polly as my main damage dealer. And he just used Ciceria a bit more. 
Vildred? I don't know. Like, he's not triple S, so it was, like, really hard to draft him. I think I drafted him twice. One I lost because I didn't have the triple S. The other one I lost because he didn't have the damage. So, I might just un gear him again or maybe re-gear him later on i don't know i'm thinking like after i finish this kisei banner i'm gonna go to the builder side story and try and summon more and then get more imprints as well as more sword of summer twilight we're on knife because like this technically does do the most damage and in every single comp i'm using him in well i theoretically would use him in he would do damage after someone else already did damage so that's why this would work. I guess maybe I could get more attack from this EE. And we went with more damage on S3. Might lower speed for more damage. Maybe that's the answer. I'm not sure. But yeah, I don't know. Probably just going to ungear him if another DPS unit comes out. Milum. I heard she was pretty good into guiding a lot comps. I just was never able to really use her. The one time I did, she kind of just died before she took a turn. So it was a bit of a shame. And then since I was just cleaving, I never actually picked her. I think I picked her like once, yeah. I don't know. I used her in Guild War. Like when, I think yesterday. Yeah, I used her in yesterday Guild War. Maybe I'll keep it on her. Maybe I'll just take it off. I used 97 crit because I'm theoretically only bringing her into Landy. So it was always crit. Maybe I'm supposed to just go more damage instead of more bulk. Or maybe it's like switch the speed set so she's much faster and I at least can kill Landy, you know. Next unit is is Polly. Man, I used Polly so many times, especially if they drafted Karina into my first three, which is normally Aiden, Z, or Ran. If they drafted Karina, I just slam Polly because it's so free. You silence Karina with Zio and then Ran S3 Soulburn for the defense break procs Karina and then that procs Polly. And even with like kind of low like GS pieces. It does so much damage. I cleaved Rika the same exact way, and he just did it ban my poly. My poly wiped his team. Preferably, of course, more damage, and more speed. Because, you know, 200 is slightly too slow, even with the mage buff. She wouldn't actually cut sometimes. I do like her both for now, but yeah. More damage is always nice, and more speed for her to cut. Here's Zahawk. I used to have him on a build that was, I think, 25 speed, slower, and way more damage. I wish this crit was into damage, but there's not much I could do. This is just like whatever gear I have left over that could actually get him to the speed. I used to have this, I think, on my Kisei, or like really my Acid, but I ungeared him for this cleave team. You would just pick him when there wasn't a lot of fast units, and you just wanted to push up either Aiden or Straze and give them attack buff. He's also not bad into Para because he also cleanses, and also good into their evasion units if they pick them. Eventually, I think maybe 290. I don't know. I don't think I have the gear for that in a bit. I mean, I, I'm kind of held back by this 15 speed neck, which is like my fastest speed crit damage neck, which is not the greatest, but we do what we can, and overall, more damage, because I use them like everywhere, especially in Guild War with Conqueror Lily Estraze to beat a lot of like the tanky teams. I just like nuke two tank units and just kill them. But now he doesn't really do as much damage anymore. Can still put good amount of injury, but more damage would be pretty nice. And now that my Conqueror Lilius is 280 now instead of 298, is it kind of like changes things because he's like now faster than her, so. I'm beginning to use Zeo and like at least my in my arena cleave consists of Zahawk, Brasiria, Cavill, plus one. Whichever unit I kinda need. Sometimes Folly, sometimes like a Zeo or Conquer Lilius. Alright, so next unit is Celine. She's on kind of whatever gear. I didn't really pick her that much. I think I maybe picked her once. She was really strong until the cleave I was using, especially if I picked Ciceria, which is one of the reasons why I didn't like picking Ciceria on 4. That allows them to go like ball Celine. It's kind of tough to be in that position to ban one of the two. Probably switch her to Destruction eventually to have more damage, but this is fine for now. I only have two Secret Art Storm Swords. One of them was on Winter, which to be outside in gear, so I could have put that on her. And actually, let me do that right now. My plus 18 storm sword. Let's go. All right. Here's my ARAS. I didn't pick him at all to be an SNRTA. Maybe in the beginning of the season. But I kind of just pivoted more towards Arrowell and Eula for my Aureus holders. Sometimes 
Carmen against Cleave, but she just died anyways. I use ARAS more in PvE now, especially in my expos, so I might gear him towards that, but preferably I would like more bulk and then 100 in each of these so i could use him like and everything but overall he's like still a very good knight and like still usable in rta too i just didn't use him because it just didn't fit how i was playing i guess but yeah uh. next unit specter tenebria yeah one of the strongest units out there i feel like you couldn't slam her as much as like a first pick now even if you pre band belling because there's just so many units that kind of just nuke her in one go. When I was playing standard, I normally left her for a third or fourth pick or never really used her at all, but she's still a very strong unit. This immunity has been very helpful to be honest. Being able to block like defense breaks from from Flan or or like the sleeps of Laika. And also I did switch to a, a more tankier build so she doesn't just get like nuked by other Bryceria's or by like LRK's in one shot. I do want eventually more damage, just like more stats in general. I think, I don't know, I actually forget what the GS of this. I think this was in the 420s, so you can still use improvement. Overall, super strong unit, and I, I love her. She's so good. Next unit is Operator Cigarette. I don't think I picked her at all. I just never knew when to pick her. I knew she was like good into Arrowell, good into Karina, if you played aggro, but I didn't really have like a lot of units to play aggro. So I didn't know how to pick her, so I just, I just ended up not picking her. I still have her built in the odd situations that she's really good, but I just never knew when to pick her. RB, never really used him. Keep just switching gear off of him for other units, and he's just a farmer. Here's my Watcher Shuri. He's at this 255 speed in order to help. Like you could push him up with Zahak, and he could be used to nuke a Karina. I don't know, I mostly use him either as a speed imprint, but I don't think I actually like drafted him that much. Because like, even with like attack buff, this still does 20 something K, so that will nuke most things anyways. Yeah. TML is like really just a gear holder right now, I never picked her. Cavill, I use him in Arena. Sometimes a Guild War, I just I never pick him in RTA. I think it's just too hard and too obvious if you're trying to do that. Arrowell, pretty nice in RTA. Probably like the strongest tank. Preferably I would like more stats. Maybe even more effectiveness to be honest, because her being able to like just strip a unit of their buffs or like just stunning a high e res unit is so nice. And more bulk. Especially more defense, cause I feel like she just died so quickly. Super strong unit, and I think I do think Adamant Shield is best in slot. Yeah, Escort is also just like so powerful as a buff. Green Sid, another speed imprint, another unit you could technically push by for with the Hawk. Not much to say. I only had one Wind Rider, so I just put that onto Kise and switched him to Portrait. I never really drafted him either, cause I didn't really try racing people. Cause I'm just like super slow. As you'll see in a minute. He used to be like, I think a 270 build, but I slowed it down for more damage, which I think was the call. Now, this is, here's my ran. This is the ran I was using. Um, he's only 305. I mean, if we look at s sort by speed, I'm not very fast. Like I just, it's like 307 para is my fastest unit, 305. But most of the time I just ego cleaved and it worked to be honest. So I'm on a Christian snack. And not much damage to be honest. I do wish I did have more crit damage so it could, it could be considered like a real ran and benefit more off of the Sword of Swimmer Twilight. I used to have him on RNL, but him being able to sometimes just like nuke a unit with this artifact and just push up the entire team is very nice. One time I RNL proc and I just kind of lost into Benny Maru. And even though people will say that's just like one game, it's just like, eh, I don't know if I want that to ever happen again. Overall, I do want him to get more speed, but I'm just too slow at the moment. Like, I think the fastest speed piece I have on is like this 22 chest. And yeah, 19, 19 ring and 18 neck. And I can make him faster, but I don't know about the damage. He was uh, the main unit. I kind of just died if they banned my ran because I, I relied so heavily on being able to sober in his S3, get those defense breaks, and just have like Polly or my other DPS unit clean up. Rylet, 
I think I picked him once or twice. He did work a couple times. He's still like an RNG factor, like just still only good 70% of the time. I think he's like geared pretty well, kind of on some PvE pieces like the AI neck and the Abyss chest piece. I haven't really touched him in a bit. I do like his bulk. I just wish I had more damage, I think, but yeah. Still a fun unit when he works and when he dodges. Kana is really only in for green expo. Leftover gear. Probably just gonna take it off of her if I need it. Rimuru. I think I need more speed on him. I used him once, to be honest. Barely used him in like anywhere else. I don't know. He's like so kind of scary sometimes because I wouldn't be able to like just press my buttons. And I think I lost him like pretty early on. Luna. This is my, I think my damage dealer for fire expo don't really use her much in anything else my sage ball this guy i don't know i don't know what to say because like he lost me so many games or like almost lost me so many games because he just didn't sleep the like some units like oftentimes he'd either get fully resisted or just only land one sleep so that's what 85% does he's still a very good anti-cleave tactic often a must ban and the rng I wish he did have more bulk and more ER. Like if I had like a bastion of cope on him, but I don't have enough of those. And also like just faster too. If I had an abyssal crown, I'd use that on him instead of book, but I just have so many books that I just put it on him. Here's my hand guy. I wish he was more bulky and faster, but I don't really have the gear for that. And I do wish he was like a bit faster. It's such a good unit for standard players just being able to take a turn and fully cleanse your entire team and give them attack buff and immunity. It was very nice. And immunity of course for the odd chance that like there's a winter that and also like cause he could 15% too and resist some debuffs. I just need more defense and more speed to make him better. Senya. I didn't really pick her a lot in an RTE, I think. I still need to work on her her build overall. It's just like kind of whatever. I like the bulk, but the attack and the ER are a bit low for what I want. And speed too. If I could get back her back on immunity, that would be perfect. But I can't really do that. I think I mostly just use her in, in Guild War on my defense team. I think she's on my arena team too. Facing her, mostly just to cleave them, I think. Because I just like, it would, it would be RNG factors because she's another unit that can proc poly. So if I like land a defense break with Ran, she often just died instantly. But if she doesn't get defense broken, she could still like completely solo a team. And that's like pretty squishy. Also, I also do think lifesteal is a way just so she can take some hits and then S3 back to full. And then just like get that sustain more and also keep her, her gab when she S3s. This is my Wyvern SSP. Yeah, she does enough damage to nuke the first wave, and she speeds him correctly, so yeah. That's about all I have to say for her. Eula, another pretty common knight in an RTA. I wish she was a tankier though, like more HP. But I just don't have the gear. It's not a bad build to be honest. 30k, 1500 defense, 100 eras. I guess more eras would be beneficial, maybe more speed as well. Just her ability to be able to S3 heal back and then also cleanse herself and give her a pretty big bear is pretty nice too. Destina, I like using her, but also sometimes if I was playing too slow, I kind of just died. I guess I just wish she had more bulk, like a little bit more less defense for more HP and more speed. If like you want to tank something down and you need some something with high ER, this is the way to go. Like I was saying before with the, the cleave that I was using, if I just couldn't kill the Destina or put like a bomb on her with Ciceria, I kind of just died. Crow, I don't know, I didn't really pick him at all. I've seen other people just pick him into LRK. So you could just horse after LRK S3s. Heard he was still pretty strong because that defense buff was pretty nice, but can't cleanse, cleanse himself and push himself forward and also heal himself like Eula. So I didn't really pick him as much, but yeah. Karina. I wish I had better gear for her. I think I'm gonna start converting some my defense gems and maybe even getting some immunity. Her her artifact, I do want to max number break at some point, but I'm gonna need more more bottles. I need a really upper defense as well, because 2600 is just not enough. She just doesn't do any damage. 
I think I do want to switch to counter because counter builds pretty scary when you're cleaving into her because if she just counters enough and like she does she has high enough defense so you just like nukes your team back so I think that's what I want to do just go defense percent right side and counter set or maybe I'll just stick to speed and just go like defense percent anyways so that, that way she can still be able to S3 I don't know. I have to think on it a bit more. And also, like, just more ES. 98's just not enough. Here's my Vivian. I use her in Banshee. And that's pretty much it. Yeah. The next unit is Arya. These are the stats I have 86 ERES with Bastion on Lifesteal Crit. I wish I just had better gear for her. Because I think right now she's just like. I don't know, I just didn't really know when to draft her. I feel like she was just not bulky enough to survive a lot of stuff. Or had like the ER to resist stuff too. Because this is only about 130 ER at the beginning. I wish she, like, she had a bit more damage, but I just don't have the gear right now. Apparently she was another good unit into to LRK, but I don't know. Since I didn't really play a lot of standard toward the end of the season, I didn't really pick her a lot either. AOL. She's on the build I had for last season. 200 effectiveness to debuff a lot of the like cleansers and like Destina when you switch to self imprint. I wish she had more bulk so she didn't keep dying. More speed would be very nice too to you know just like take a turn faster and be able to cycle. Dien, I never really picked her. I built her after I think I lost to a carrot because I just didn't have a good cleanser left. I only had like Destina, DJB, and Hand Guy. I did see a lot of people picking Tien though, and like she seemed pretty strong overall because like her cycling so fast and she constantly gives attack and crit buff and, and barriers. I don't really have much opinion on her. She's like on a whatever set, but yeah. This is my Dark Corvus. He kind of sucks, and yeah, he's in my Grace of Growth. And that's about all I have to say. I don't know. Maybe I'll gear him better eventually, but yeah. This is my Lencia. I used her a couple times. She's not injury, so it's kind of harder to pick her, I think. If she was injury, I could just slam her into Apox. She's still a pretty good Bruiser Warrior. The next unit is Designer Lilibet. I don't know. I used her, I think, like once against a Cleaver, and it worked because she didn't die and then just completely destroyed the other team. She used to be on Portrait with, like, a bit slower and less HP, but I think this build is definitely better. I also got, like, four designer lily but so that's like the main reason why she's triple s i don't know i didn't really like draft her that much i didn't know when to draft her to to be honest so the cleave that i was using at toward the end you would pre-band designer a little bit and ed to allow your ran or para to be able to just like do their thing it removes two sources of them to like counter your draft so that was pretty good this is my zeo he's pretty bad to be honest i'm missing like 10 speed 40 effectiveness and like damage but he's there to just like take turn one and remove their opener for being able to take a thing 160 f the problem is like just too, too slow and not even triple s so this is what 69 effectiveness goes up to 187 but i just yeah i just don't have the gear i think right now to make him close to 200 f and still keeping relatively decent crit chance and damage but We'll get there eventually, but yeah. Zeo is a pretty nice unit. Alright, next unit is APOC. This is probably my, I think my best geared unit. Probably not the highest GS, but my best geared unit on my account. When I was playing standard, I tried to first pick her often. If I wasn't first picking Conquer Lilius, and she has saved me so many times. A lot of times, like she just is unkillable, and eventually just like brings back a unit i'm still trying to find a better ring that isn't just a purple but like the other other pieces are are pretty high gs though so could always find better ones i think destruction penta is the way to go but i know a lot of people who only farm wyvern and don't have as good of an apoc because of that because destruction just gives so much gs and like even even this imprint has saved me so many times with making like my stene or my hand guy just slightly tankier and allowing them to to survive things that they normally wouldn't be surviving 
Overall, I think if I could get more crit damage and maybe even a bit more speed, that would be helpful. I do like the bulk, maybe some more defense as well, but yeah. Here's my DJB. I use them a lot, to be honest. Not the worst into arrow. Well, I think people were using Ning Ning more than him, though, because she's more for aggro. Overall, still a pretty solid unit. Helps with just cleansing everyone to just another cleanser. If I didn't have Hand Guy, I think I often picked him, even with his like less sustain, but yeah. 263 speed and 200 e so pretty fair and then decent amount of HP. Attack's a bit high, but yeah, not much I could do about that. If I could get him, I think more bulk was the main problem. He just dies so fast without his S3 up. So I guess, yeah, just more bulk would be pretty, pretty nice. If, I know some people ran Eternus, but I don't know. I, I like, I like Water Origin a bit better to be honest. Solly, I should probably use her a lot more than I did. I barely picked her at all, to be honest. I kept forgetting I have her as a unit. I just keep forgetting to just draft her into like Sage Vivian, Rylet, and like uh, Arya, or even DDR. Maybe I dropped e res a bit for more effectiveness, but I, don't, I like can't really say anything because I never used her this RTA season, which was a shame because she's a pretty toxic unit. Yeah, Para. I ungeared my Conqueror Lilius to give her some pretty fast pieces. She's 307 speed, so still kinda kinda slow with only 123 effectiveness and only plus 18 goblet of both. I do wish she could be faster. I do like this 16k HP though, it's pretty nice. It helps her be a little bit more tanky, but more effectiveness would of course be way, way better. Sermia's PvE, Karen's for Wyvern. Around. I, I don't know like using this unit is so RNG because sometimes he just doesn't counter if I had more damage on him and maybe a higher Ervalent RD maybe but I, don't know. I think I just don't think I have the high high enough GS like he is on immunity and I've seen people get like way higher on on e res like get like 180 effect, uh, effect resistance but I like the immunity for him to at least be able to AoE counter if he does get hit and he doesn't get stripped but yeah Maybe the higher ears is the way to go. FCC, I didn't really use her much to be honest. She's like still built. Shuna, she's like was really strong after her buff and people like started using her like AOL. I just don't have the gear for her to be honest. Like she's not bulky at all. It's a bit of a shame. She's kind of toxic because she just like, puts everyone to sleep and it's so annoying. Eventually I do want like 3k more HP and like 200 more defense or at least 100 more defense because this is like this is so squishy and she just dies instantly more speed would be pretty nice and more er of course too so summer charlotte i only really use in pve for a fire expo all right and so next unit is fire ravi uh i use her like once kind of lost because i didn't have any sustain yeah i don't know i didn't really use her much edward I wish I just had more GS. I think actually injury was kind of tech sometimes, but a lot of people would say would say I was coping, which they could be to be honest, because he would I don't know he wasn't really putting much injury, but that might be because just just because like I don't have a lot of enough stats on him. I would prefer tankier and like 300 crit damage on injury set, but you know free to play stuff and purple pieces, you know, not much I can do. Do like to farm more injury again because my Balian also sucks on injury, but yeah. Conquer Lilius. She's kind of whatever now, now that she's much slower. Still a strong unit. I will I used to have a 298 build and I was like if she was free I would first pick her a lot. But now she's like 282. I wish I could have gotten immunity on her, but I don't have really fast immunity pieces, so that kind of didn't really work. Shoo. I think I out rng fart pancakes with this build. Yeah, because it was like a bunch of injury and then Shu just kind of just popped off. Use her in... No, I don't use her in Guild War defense anymore, so I had to, I had to fi fix that. More crit damage, I think, is the main thing. Like, she's so, so high attack, but very little crit damage. If I could get more crit damage and more, maybe more bulk. More speed would be nice too. She would be a lot better, but yeah. This is Dejan Poly. I use it a couple times into people who are trying to cleave, but I think I need more ER and more bulk for that. She's also like not very mobile, so she doesn't really do anything other than trying to just high roll the stuns, but I only have one plus 27 Abyssal Crown, which is kind of a shame. 
Also, more effectiveness would be helpful too. Shuri, he's a speed imprint, but I never really picked him. He's on like whatever gear, soul, whatever. Violet, he's like built, but I never picked him. Mercedes, I use her in Fire Expo. She's also built, but I don't, I don't know. I just never found a way to use her as well. I think she, she used to be on my Gilder defense, but not anymore. I don't know. I, I like the damage. I don't know. I, I saw some people like switch, switch, switching to speed Mercedes, but this was like a month ago, so I don't know if that's still relevant. Helga, AI, Spez is on filler gear. Flurry, I just use an Expos, but she keeps dying in the dark one, so I don't really know. G Perg, I would use in the Guiding Light strategy with Aiden, just like as a unit that like they had to decide whether they want to ban the G Perg and just push the entire team or hit the Aiden and allow her to counter. Uh, just like high bulk and like almost like in the crit chance to at least deal some damage. And I have like Sepulchrum for memes just like to take more damage because yeah, I don't have enough proofs. Here's my Amid. She's kind of slow with like no HP with like a bit of ER. Yeah, she's a pretty strong unit. I use her a lot and with Kisei and Cavill and both Guild War and Arena. Which I, re I really do like that combo. It's pretty fun to use as just a cleave because it just has so much raw damage. I would like her faster, of course, but yeah, I don't really have the gear and of course more bulk. Clarina I use in my Cadius one shot. Cerise I use in Dark Expo, I think. But yeah. Judge Keys is on filler gear. This is my Banshee one shot Biken. Dama. Fire Expo Ball. ADS, I used her once. Didn't really use her a lot this season, mostly because I just wasn't really playing solo. Whole bunch of times I faced her off where she just like proc S2 when there was no seal, which I think is like, just insane that she does that. I'm still missing Mola on S3, which actually like kind of not good. But yeah, she is still a pretty annoying unit. I'm getting, I got a whole bunch of more F10 artifacts, so I could get this up and do even more damage, but We'll just have to see for later. Assyria is like Katie's one shot. And for PvE in general. Hufin is on whatever gear. I wanted to build her up for the last last couple of days for like against people who are trying to cleave, but never got around to it. This is my Bellion. Yeah, she kinda sucks. She has so much extra effectiveness and not enough like GS in general, I never, never really picked her because she's injury. Pretty annoying unit if she counters, but it's a casino game and yeah. This is my Alexa for a Riven one shot. I used to have Leica built, but I ungear her to make other units faster, so now she's just holding gear. Fire Charlotte, pretty nice if she gets less through and she could just like completely destroy Stannis and stuff. Kind of hard to, I think, use. In my opinion, like with units that can just strip buffs and stun her, kind of just control her and prevent her from taking a turn. But yeah, she's still pretty fun when she survives. Dizzy's just like holding gear for now. Carmen, good anti cleave knight, does a lot of mitigation. It's not on a plus 30 Aureus, so that kind of sucks. And yeah, she's just on like whatever gear. I get, wish I had more ER and more HP, but yeah. QC. Might switch to that immunity to Pensa just as she does more damage. I used her twice. I think the one one time she did like 30k with like some amount of stacks with Hellcutter onto an APOC. So that was pretty cool. But I don't know. Like she's just like kind of hard to draft because she gets controlled pretty easily. Now that she's getting a buff, hopefully she does like enough damage to actually kill APOCs now. Because that was really her main job. But whenever I pick my APOC, I'm never really worried about in LQC because they almost never kill, but yeah. I wish I had F10A actually geared, but she's just holding gear for now. LCB is was is pretty strong unit now. I just wish mine was better. I, I might probably gonna switch to Destruction Sigurds for the higher GS. This is mine, it's like kind of a pretty bad build to be honest. It's like not very high GS, but it's like whatever gear I had left over and Still really good into the Sanyo shoe comps and then just AOE units in general.
Like, if I had more damage on her, I would be able to pick her into LRK and, like, Belly and stuff, but, yeah. I wanna... I wanna switch her to counter set eventually, but she's, like, doesn't really need to be high-geared. She's just there to... against counter units and good for Ice Expo. KD's PvE, Troza, he's just holding gear for now. I wanted to build him for RTA, but I never really got around to do it either. Just was another, like, anti cleave tech. This is my SSP. I never drafted her. She's like sucks. There were, really weren't any units where I would draft her anyways. I, I think LCB now is much better because it's like easier to gear her because she doesn't need any crit, which is very nice. See, SSP is still holding gear for some reason. I'm probably gonna ungear her soon, but yeah. Angelica's PVE, but I don't use her at all. She's just like holding gear. A lot of my units now are just holding gear just to keep my equipment inventory pretty low. Like I think I have like 477, but that's from a lot of just like extra pieces. Rem, another good unit that kind of like destroys the cleave team I was using, but most people don't have their Rem geared or just use her for a Wyvern one shot. This build kind of sucks, but I didn't really change it, so yeah. Charles is holding gear. This is the Leo I used for Wyvern for Banshee one shot. XP artifact to help level up characters when I'm doing three man. But yeah, just fast enough to go ahead of my, my Vivian and enough effectiveness to land the defense break. Wanderer Soak built her, I think, last day. Super strong for speed and print. And pretty nice combo with Landy. Um, she's only a five star for now. I might six star later. Preferably, I would like more effectiveness and more speed, but. Not much I can do right now. Lilius, I had her geared for against Lua's, but I just pre banned Lua, so I never actually picked Lilius that often. Ken is on AI gear, that's why he's on the plus 15 Jacko Crab and this like holding gear in general. Green Armin, I never picked once, I'm gonna be honest. But yeah, most people didn't really use single target Flea, so I don't know, she wasn't really useful. Probably gonna take gear off of her if I fribbles and a unit needs it, but yeah. Furious is gear holder. Closest Charles is also a gear holder. My, I have a build in mind that has pretty good damage on pen set, so I might gear him for that. Clarissa is a gear holder. Camilla is a AI unit, and also I use her in Katie's, but I'm gonna switch off to Junkyard Dog when I do that. And I think. That's pretty much it for the units I actually have geared. Everyone else is pretty much just like a gear holder. Uh, yeah, well. But yeah, anyways, that's all the units I have geared. There are a bunch of units that I need to improve and a bunch of units that I kind of do want to build. Just don't have the resources right now, but there is a hunt buff tomorrow. So hopefully I'll get more pieces still trying to figure out whether i want to farm wyvern or banshee or even azif because for the immunity pieces because of my immunity gear is not the greatest right now we'll see what the next frame looks like and the, what the next skin is because i should still be on summer vacation by the time that season starts and ends so hopefully it's good and i'll probably start early in the season and maybe even stream some more and like make content on e7 and in general if you enjoyed the video, please give this video a like and subscribe to the channel for more content. In the description will be a link to my Twitch channel if you want to come check it out. And yeah, have a good one and I'll see you in the next video. See ya.